Okay, so this video is uh, the box of borers, the one that I'm most excited about because uh, I do value borers in the stud much more highly than sows. Um, borers make up 50% uh, of your breeding stock, as in the, the borers' uh, genetics can be paired off to multiple sows and have a much greater effect in the stud. So uh, opening this box uh, is particularly exciting for me uh, to see what I've got to play with in the future and, and what attributes I'm going to be looking for. I, I really think this could be... Um, uh, there could be some very good pigs in these boxes, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, let's uh, see what's in there. Okay, this is a young boar that uh, we've brought back into the shed. Um, one of two brothers, I'll show you the brother next. Uh, this boar has a very level head, um, a great coat, uh, lovely sized ears as well, and, and, and a fairly bold eye. Stands really well, considering he's never been trained. Uh, I think... He should make a show boar, hopefully, if not a very good breeding boar. His colour runs all the way down to the skin, which is what we want, and there's a, a, a nice rich colour. Looking at his head, he's very square set, very tall head, which uh, means he's got plenty of space to fill out into. And uh, looks to be, I would say, going to be very useful in the stud, most definitely. This is the uh, little brother to the previous boar. Uh, again, a very big head, very tall head, a long head, plenty of space for it to grow into. Lovely shoulder already at this age. Uh, well set ears, plenty of them. Slight smaller eye, um, and slightly lighter in colour as well than uh, I, I would usually like for a stud boar. But it looks like he's going to be very useful. I'll run this one on um, just to see how it fares. Again, good under colour, even though it is slightly lighter. Very good square set jowl. And this, that's that balanced head that we're looking for. Uh, again, very useful. Now this is just a quick comparison, just so you can see the two brothers side by side, and uh, see the difference in width for yourself and development. Uh, both fantastic looking boars. This is the father of the previous two boars. Um, he's from one of my original three boars that changed the, the shape of the stud. Uh, this is from the Southwest Championship winner from two years ago. Um, very large boar weighing uh, over four and a half pound in weight it's got a very big head um is grown into it extremely well um it takes a bit of coaxing to get into shape uh but he's very rich in color very even in color again a humongous head uh well balanced is um yeah just just trying to get him into into position to show him off a bit better for you uh, as you can see there he just has presence on the board Touch of glamour. He adds um, a lot of width to my pigs, uh, as you can see in the previous two uh, boars that I've shown you. I think he's going to continue to do well. So throughout lockdown, uh, a couple of pigs didn't make it, one of which was my uh, very successful show and stud boar, uh, Ruskin, named after the uh, the author and architect. Uh, this is one of his surviving youngsters. Um, a very classy boar, very typey. A uh, slightly shorter head than his father, but again, well-balanced head. Stands tremendously well, considering he's not been show-trained at all. Um, another square-set head, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for that square shape. Uh, and it's got a lovely shoulder to him already. He's only young. Uh, only about two months old, I believe, um, from Grandad's records. Um, but yeah, he's weighing in it, it just, just, they were just under two pounds. So those boars... Um, we're a mixed bag again. Uh, there were two young, very promising boars. It'd be interesting to see how they develop. I've got a funny feeling one is going to be a keeper and the other may be looking for a new home. Um, I've got a, a waiting list of people uh, after boars from me once lockdown's over. So uh, fingers crossed um, we can find a suitable uh, owner for him. Um, but the other boars are definitely... Um, going to make an impact in the stud, uh, especially Ruskin's son. Um, I think that is a particularly useful pig and I'm sure you'll be seeing him time and time again throughout many videos because uh, he's a real character. Um, it's good to have him back really. Um, the last outing um, he won a large class of Goldens at Devon County uh, show and uh, sorry Devon Cavey Club show. <laughs> Not Devon County, um, under Gary Taylor, um, and I was very pleased with that. Uh, he came in the best self lineup. So the one show he went to, he did quite well. 
Um, shame his shave career got cut short, but say la vie. Um, yeah, tune in for the next video. Um, I think we're going to be going to do uh, one in Grandad's shed, um, where the pigs that are staying there, I assess those on site rather than bring them back and forth between the sheds. Um, so hopefully you can get to look at those.